we're all human beings at the end of the day. And when we are living with the hormones of stress in our body that come from time to time because we are animals, something that those hormones of stress can do, such as cortisol, adrenaline, etc., is that they engage in a neuroscience principle that is coined last in, first out. What that principle refers to is the fact that our last brain to evolve as human beings was the prefrontal cortex. This is the part of the brain that allows us to have a sense of self-awareness. It allows for a sense of discernment with the types of thoughts that are going through our head. I trained extensively in cognitive behavioral therapy and psychotherapy, and I remember it was effective yet myopic in many ways because with clients, I would share, you know, you're doing black and white thinking, jumping to conclusions, you're doing mind reading, catastrophizing, all or nothing thinking, perfectionism. But what I came to see after working with so many clients over the years was that they'd still come back and still be struggling with the same stuff. No matter how much I taught them about cognitive distortions, it just, it would help and provide understanding. But a lot of the time it wasn't getting to the root cause. The root cause being what is actually driving the release of cortisol? What is driving the release of stress hormone? Because when we come back to last in first hour, this prefrontal cortex, the logical brain that allows for discernment of thinking, for forward thinking, self-awareness, it is the first to go whenever cortisol is released throughout the body. Now, there's a trick to this because sometimes we see it, sometimes we don't. I put my hand up, people go, oh, you must be some master. I'm like, no. And even my teachers who have been teaching for 20 to 30 years, it's called humaning. That whenever we have these hormones coming through, it decreases the activation of that part of the brain. And we start to see our world through the limbic system, which is the emotional brain. And it means we're feeling our world. We're feeling and experiencing our world through the emotions of fear, anxiety, worry, stress, pressure, urgency. And you can think of our feelings and our biochemistry as the lens that we see the world through. 